Hey guys, what's going on? CyberFurious66 here, bringing you guys some more Black Ops 2 gameplay. This will be a 19 and 9, 5 7 only domination gameplay on Hijack. Now I'm using only the 5 7, but I have, the, I have it equipped with the long barrel and fast mag, running the kill streak setup, counter UAV, stealth chopper, orbital VSAT, with one grenade as uh, equipment. Now, perk setup, Ryan Flak, Jacket, Ghost, Dexterity, and Toughness, and that guy just got turned on. Ooh, sit down, son. So anyway, the reason why it's only 19-9 is because you'll see about the second round-ish, I believe, more than half of their team actually does, you know, do the infamous rage quit. And it's really kind of depressing because they leave one guy all alone to fend for his team and our team just took advantage of it and it gets shanked but our team just takes total advantage and I kind of feel sorry for him in the end you know I've actually been there before where you're all alone and it sucks let me tell you I get shanked there again that's, that's making me mad <laughs> but I want to cover why people rage quit and how far do you guys go before you actually say, that's it, I'm done? So where I want to start with this is why people rage quit. And I feel like a lot of people that rage quit, rage quit because they over-exaggerate or overreact to a situation that could be, you know, could be their problem, couldn't be their problem, and they kind of feel helpless in a way. Like, think about it. A lot of people rage quit when... They get a BS down, right? Because the lag kicks in, lag compensation, whatever. And they feel like they had the jump on the guy. And they feel like, oh, you know, I had that kill, I should have my kill. And they get so enraged, you know, they throw their headset, they throw their, they throw their controllers, they throw whatever they have. And I think that's kind of overreacting a little bit to the situation, whereas instead of just like quitting you could probably just sit back and say okay you know kind of check what you did wrong or kind of check what the game thought you did in a way and just kind of come back from it. bounce back let that go bounce back come back stronger and come back better so if you get you know a bs death then come back and get two kills right away make up for that death start on a good streak some people rage quit just simply when they enter the game and they find their team losing, which I find very discouraging because if you're not willing to sit there for a little bit while the game kind of ends, just kind of rack up points for you know, leveling up and whatnot, then I feel like, you know, what was the point? If you didn't expect to get in a, in a match mid-game and be losing, there's something kind of wrong there considering the fact that the reason why you got into that match was probably because somebody else raged quit because their team was losing. Right? It's kind of like a, a, a double-edged sword here, you know. Yeah, you get into the game, but you're losing, and that's probably how you got into that game in the first place. Now, it's kind of funny the way the lengths I go before I rage quit. I feel like I'm trying to get better, like... Like if I get a BS tap, That's another kill. or something like that, then I'll try to kind of like brush it off and move on and try to bounce back to it. But you, you'll always get those, you always get those bad streaks. Like you can't do anything about it, so don't get so discouraged and wrapped up in it because you can't do anything about it. You know, it's lag. Lags in every game, it's in every possible multiplayer game that's ever been made. And, it's, and it will be. It's universal. Friendly VTOL worship inbound. And I think this is where they only have the one player. Yeah, they do. It's a shame. Right? But I would go as far as finishing a match and then dropping out of the lobby as soon as that match was over. I do that a lot because not only, like, if you know you're going to lose, then go out with grace and don't just go out and be like, well, you know, we're going to lose anyway, so I might as well just quit now. You know, because you don't get your... Well, in Call of Duty, anyway, you don't get your bonus. And it counts as a loss. So if you're going to lose anyway, at least go and get your bonus. It doesn't do you any harm, it's just 
what? It's more points. It helps you level up. Helps you increase your rank, and overall, it just helps you become a better soldier. And so that's that round, and the next round is there's only one guy. So what? What can you really say about it? You know, he's been pelted with a Vital Worship, a an Orbital VSAT, and a Stealth Chopper. So you know what? What are you really gonna do? <laughs> You know, it's kind of funny the way that people will do anything to make themselves feel better, including Rage Quit. And now, Rage Quitting is different from dropping on mid-match. You know, you could have, you know, something could pop up and you could be like, oh, well, I gotta, you know, I gotta go now and I can't really do this right now. I gotta wait or I gotta leave, so I gotta quit now, right? But if you're just Rage Quitting because you have one BS death, you just wasted a potential entire game's worth of hard work in a way and in a lot of games it counts as a loss as I said before so go out with a little bit of pride knowing that yeah even though we lost I stuck it through you know I went through that and I helped my team prosper and this guy I don't know what he was doing he dropped something and tries to climb back up I don't know who he's trying to fool but what are you gonna do and don't feel too bad I feel bad for him but don't really feel too bad for him because he does get a full team in the end but you know not as much as probably he would like so putting that aside I want to know how far you guys go like do you just drop into a game and you see your team losing and it's like bam I'm done or do you kind of go into the game and you get BS death when you're done or do you really, like, do you not rage quit at all? Like, do you just stick it through? And, under all circumstances, you know, try to, like, power through in a way? And also, I, like, I personally, I consider dashboarding just as bad as rage quitting. And in fact, it's even worse, because if you did full host, and then you dashboard, you've not only ruined the game for yourself, but also for the higher lobby you play host. So that's why I find that's why I really that to be really low and re a really big selfish thing to do. And so I can say I encourage a lot of players to simply just, you know, stick it through, power through, play till the end, so you, you know you reap all the benefits of it. And you know you won't regret anything in a way because you know you stuck with your thing. You know, you're a power soldier now, you stuck through a really bad game, and, you know, leave mid-lobby. And please don't leave when it says balancing teams, because they have a really bad system, or if even one person leaves, then the whole lobby is screwed. But anyway, there's the gameplay. Short little gameplay for you guys, covering a topic very dear to my heart. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.